Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with Aliens Fire Team Elite game on your computer. Now the first step is to make sure that your Steam profile name is not having any kind of special character. So if your Steam profile has any kind of special character in the name, then make sure that you go ahead and change your Steam profile name and just make sure that you don't have any special character like these. So you can click on this on the top right here you can see your profile click on this down arrow and then click on view my profile now click on edit profile now over here you can go ahead and change your profile name to a very simple name and make sure that it does not have any special character and after you change the name so once you change the name you can go ahead and click on save and then go to this location and delete the save game file you will lose all the game progress so you can go to this location so open file explorer then open c drive then open the users folder then open your username folder and then open app data folder if you don't see app data over here click on view on the top and then make sure hidden items is checked over here then you'll be you'll be able to see the app data so open app data folder and then open the local folder and over here you will see endeavor folder make a right click and then delete this file and once the file is deleted go ahead and disable the steam cloud in steam so go to steam and then go to your library make a right click on your game and then select properties and if this option which is checked which says keep game, game saves in steam cloud uncheck this and after you uncheck this you go ahead and restart the game and then create a new character and that should go ahead and fix the problem this for windows 7 users go ahead and rename x input 1 underscore 3 dot dll file to x input 1 underscore 4 dot dll file so for this open file explorer on the computer so open file explorer then you have to open the c drive then open the windows folder then find system 32 folder open system 32 and then find look for x input x input one underscore three dot dll make a right click copy this file paste it to the desktop and then you have to go ahead and rename this file make a right click then click on rename and everything will be same just you have to replace the name you have to replace the number three with number four so x input one underscore four dot dll make a right click then copy this file go back to the same system to system 32 folder and then make a right click then click on paste in my case i already have this file x input one underscore four dot dll is already there in my case so i'm that's why i'm seeing the replace option in your case you go ahead and simply paste it over here once you have this file you can go ahead and try to launch the game once again now the next step is to install directx file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website and over here you can see a directx file so click on download once you click on download a exe file will download you have to go ahead and run this exe file install it and then restart your computer and then try to launch the game the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia go to nvidia website if you have amd go to amd website the links are provided in the video description so i am showing for nvidia go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then click on search and then you will see the download option so click on download and once the download is complete run the exe file and then you will see this screen agree and continue so click on agree and continue and then select the option which says custom so click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and after the clean in installation you go ahead and restart your computer and then try to launch the game the next step is for laptop users with dual graphic card so if your computer has a dual graphic card then make sure that the game is running on the dedicated graphic card for this go ahead and type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed so open the steam folder then open the steam apps folder then open the common folder and then open the aliens fire team elite game folder now over here in my case the game is still downloading so i don't have the, the exe file over here but when you open this 
game folder, you will find the game exe file. You have to select the game exe file, then click on add. So I'm showing with the other application. So just open this folder, select the game exe file, then click on add. Now, once the game is added, click on the game and then click on options, select high performance and then click on save and then try to launch the game. The next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Uh, so if you have any third party antivirus, so if you have Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus you have, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. In case if you're using Windows security, then go to the start menu, then click on settings, go to update and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Now click on scroll down and here you can see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Then click on allow an app through control folder access. Then click on yes. And then click on add an allowed app. Then click on browse all apps. And then again go to the game installation folder. So open the steam library folder. Then steam apps. Then open the common folder. Then open the game folder. And over here you will find your exe file. And then click on open so select the game exe file then click on open once the game is added over here try to launch the game now the next step is to install visual c++ file so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see x86 and x64 version you have to go ahead and download both the exe file x86 and x64 so click both the file click on both the exe file and then once the file is downloaded run the exe file make sure that you run both x86 and x64 version Click on run, click on repair or install whatever you see, click on yes to allow, run the second file as well. So you have to click on repair or install and then click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Now once both the installation is complete, you can go ahead and restart your computer. So do not click on restart, let both the installation complete, then you can click on restart or you can close this box. Go to the start menu and then click on the power icon, then restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator. Also try to launch the game from the game installation folder. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game and then go to manage, then click on browse local file. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. So once you are in the game folder, you will find the game exe file over here. In my case, I don't have the exe file over here. The game is still downloading. In your case, you will find the exe file. Now, once you find the exe file over here, you have to go ahead and make a right click on the exe file. So I'm showing with another application. This is just an example. So once you inside the game folder, make a right click on the game exe file. And then once you make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, then go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. So if this is unchecked, put a check over here, then click on apply. Okay. And then try to launch the game from the game installation folder. So try to open this game folder and then you have to go ahead and make a double click on the game exe file and launch the game from the game installation folder. Now the next step is to disconnect all the external devices uh, which you are not using. So disconnect all the additional USB flash drive or if you have any ex extra controller connected to the computer, go ahead and disconnect all the external devices and then try to launch the game. The next step is to disable Steam overlay. For this, go to the Steam library and then make a right click on the game, select properties. Uncheck this box which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then try to launch the game. Now in case if you have any other overlay application. So if you have discord running on the computer, go ahead and close discord. If you have GE force experience running the computer, go ahead and close GE force experience. So close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking apps. So do not overclock. So if you have any other any overclocking application which is running the computer, go ahead and close it. So if you have MSI Afterburner running on the computer, go ahead and close MSI Afterburner. Now, if you have Revert Tuner running on the computer, go ahead and close Revert Tuner. So make sure that you close all the overclocking application. Also perform clean boot. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. And then go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Put a check over here first and then click on disable all. In my case, it's grayed out because i already did it in your case it will be highlighted so make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all then click on apply and then click click on ok and then you will see the restart option so restart your computer and then try to launch the game also close all the background applications so make sure that only the game and the uh, steam is running
just close all the background application including the browser it's you know just close everything just make sure that only the game and the steam is running you can also go to the start menu then click on settings and then in the search over here you can go ahead and type in background apps and then click on background apps over here and go ahead and turn this off if this is on you can go ahead and turn this off and then try to launch the game now also make sure that you update your windows to the latest version for this go to the start menu click on settings click on update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to launch your game now the next step is to verify the game files so for this make a right click on the game select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and once this is done try to launch the game now in case if nothing is working you can go ahead and in case you are able to launch the game try window mode so try to launch the game in window mode and then lower down graphic settings so go to the in game graphic settings and if it is if the graphic setting is set to ultra or high you can go ahead and select medium or low so just lower down graphic settings and check the performance now in case if nothing is working you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game for this again go to the steam make a right click on the game then click on manage then click on uninstall and after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder then restart your computer and then reinstall your game so one of the steps should definitely help you to get the game running on the computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel